The second prototype of the Kizilelma unmanned combat aircraft developed by Baker is counting down the days for its first flight. The design changes in the aircraft have attracted attention. Saudi Arabian Defense Minister Khalid bin Salman Al Saud and his delegation visited Baker recently. During Al Saud's visit to Baker, the second prototype of the Kizilelma unmanned combat aircraft was seen for the first time. The second prototype, which is seen to have completed assembly activities to a large extent, is expected to make its first flight soon. A single photo frame shared allowed us to see the design features of the second prototype that are different from the first prototype. In the second prototype of Kizilelma, the nose section is seen to be wider and more settled compared to the first prototype. The reason for this is considered to be the need for space for the avionics equipment to be located in the nose section. We can see Kizilelma soon with the Murad Aisa radar developed by Aselsan. It was previously announced by Baker Board Chairman Selchuk Bayraktar that Kizilelma, which will be equipped with air-to-air -air missiles, will be able to perform aggressive air-to-air -air maneuvers. Therefore, the integration of Murad Aisa radar to Kizilelma is quite meaningful. Again, in the new prototype, the vertical stabilizers in the tail section of Kizilelma appear to have a much simpler appearance compared to the old prototype. The main factor here is that the subsystems that control the stabilizer are placed inside the fuselage of the aircraft. The main effects of this situation can be explained as the aircraft having a lower RF signature cross-sectional area and the contribution of aerodynamic improvements to the aircraft's overall performance. As the aircraft's radar cross-section decreases, the probability of it being detected by enemy radars and its range decreases considerably. In the latest Kizilelma prototype, it is observed that some design changes were made to the landing gear. Improving the landing gear is of critical importance, especially in terms of reducing the stress on the fuselage during landing. Another important situation is that Kizilelma will land, take off on TCG Anadolu. Since Baker developed Bayraktar TB3 and Kizilelma to be used in TCG Anadolu design changes are encountered for this purpose. Finally, it is observed that there are some avionics changes in the fuselage of the aircraft. The images and data to be shared after the first flight will help us understand these changes better.